If you guys are new here, uh, you might not know that I'm pretty codependent towards my husband. We actually met working together and we now work together, we live together, we share a car, and he's seriously my best friend. Sometimes I feel like I should just go on a date by myself because all of my friends now have kids and they can't get away as easily. They all live all over the place. I decided I was going to take a day out of the week and take myself on a date. And I've been wanting to do a kind of zero waste shopping day to explore what zero waste shopping is available in LA. So I decided to venture out on my own, drive myself, didn't take an Uber, took my car, Go explore. I know it doesn't seem like the most exciting take yourself on a date day. It's very exciting for me as you can hopefully see in this vlog. This was during like are we moving? Are we not moving? What's going on? Life is all over the place. Today's video, which is kind of like a perfect sponsor, is Naturally Serious skincare products. They're new to me and I'm really excited about this brand. They're very simple, clean, fun packaged products. A great way for you to start your clean beauty journey, especially in skincare. I first started my clean beauty journey focusing on eliminating certain ingredients in my skincare. I noticed how well my skin started to behave and react to that and I continued that journey delving into more ingredients I tried to avoid. What I love about them is that all of their fragrances are 100% natural and it's not overly powerful or strong I honestly don't really smell any of these products and I'm very very sensitive to scent I've been using their after dark natural peptide sleeping cream for the last few weeks every single night I love this cream because it's silicone free it's so hard to find a good hydrating moisturizer or cream without silicone and I love this and sometimes you know I use facial oils and things like that but sometimes you need a cream you just need a cream to do the job I also have been really enjoying their cold press peel pads which I use every morning to refresh my skin to wake it up brighten it up and just kind of get rid of some of the dead skin cells um, the flakiness that I might have before going about my day and this you can use every single day day or night this is their their resurfacing facial remedy treatment and that's what it looks like wash your face dry it apply this all over your face kind of like a mask leave it on for about two three minutes rinse it off your skin's gonna feel detoxified bright exfoliated glowy awesome awesome products very simple very unisex friendly as well so my husband can use these I thought it was a good partnership especially for this video since I'm focusing on zero waste obviously I'm not a hundred percent zero waste like clearly I'm not a hundred percent zero waste I do what I can a lot of the things that I've done to be less wasteful in my everyday living has also saved me money I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you like my new bathroom natural light and I feel like you can see me a little bit better this is my old bathroom and if if you want to know about where I just moved to, there's a moving vlog up, also a apartment tour of my last place. Without further ado, taking myself on a date. Good morning guys. Chris is upset because I'm going on a date by myself. I told him yesterday that I was gonna go to a couple zero waste places. In the past, what I've been doing is ordering things online and I buy refills. But the problem with that is I'm still creating kind of waste with packaging, more sustainably packaged. Stuff still comes in plastic. It's less plastic, but it's still plastic. Recently, I found a couple shops in Highland Park that sell bulk and refill stuff. And then I was also gonna make a cheesecake tonight. Keto cheesecake. My brother's birthday is tomorrow, so I'm bringing him a keto cheesecake because he said he's old and can't eat like- Donuts. Donuts and cakes anymore. Meaning you can't have sugar and carbs because I can make you sugar-free and carbless stuff. You know, we're keto and all. I am gonna go run a bunch of errands by myself. I don't remember the last time I've done this. Where I'm driving to. Mm -hmm. I did go hang out with Christine by myself. I took Ubers everywhere. I'm excited, Chris feels kind of anxious. Yeah, separation anxiety. Daily dose of Dolly and Cooper. Step one, I have this basket so that my stuff hopefully won't sink around too much. Glass jars. That should be enough for everything I need. It hopefully will prevent me from buying things I don't need. That's a problem I have. I have to admit, it's very strange getting into the driver's side of the door of my car. We're a single car family. The first place I'm headed to is Wild Terra, known for bulk spices, 
teas and herbs to take me 27 minutes because even though it's only 11 miles away, we're in LA. Made it here to Wild Terra. I hate the 110 freeway because <laughs> it is like the scariest freaking thing. I picked up some pink Himalayan sea salt, sea salt flakes, and I also got some shea butter, almond oil, and the cool thing is they have olive oil, so you can refill your olive oil containers. You can fill your MCT oil, coconut oil, and I think they have jojoba oil. They have so many things, so many herbs, so many spices, pretty much everything you can need to cook, make beauty products, or any medicinal herbal remedy you want to create, and I think that's so cool. I bought all of that, and it was only $13. Brought my own jars, which you get 10% off if you bring your own clean, dry jars way less in terms of cost to refill my spices and try out some new beauty items to DIY at home I'm a dumbass and realized I did not check to see if sustain LA was open on a Tuesday because apparently it's not next place I wanted to go to is this vegan zero waste beauty supply store that's nearby and then I was gonna surprise Chris with a donut. I'm gonna be able to get my hand soap today because Sustain LA is where they have more of like cleaning supplies and hand soaps, laundry detergents, things like that. I'm really bummed. Went there over the weekend and I thought it was such a cute little zero waste bulk supply store and they had so many options. I bought a grapefruit body lotion. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So now we are going to go to No Tox Life. It is 3.7 3 miles. I'm so bummed I didn't get to take you guys to Sustain LA, but I'll take you next time in one of my weekly vlogs. Slight detour, I just drove by Donut Friend, so I'm gonna pick up a donut for Chris. He loves the Nutella donut. I am not gonna get one for myself. I'm gonna stay strong, so I'm just gonna buy him one donut as a treat for um, staying home and working without me. Precious cargo, back on track. Another awesome thing about living in LA is never knowing if you're gonna get towed or a ticket. I think I'm okay. I really hope that that was the only sign because if there's another one that's hitting. Oh, I just got hit by a leaf. Other thing about vlogging by yourself or on your own self date, taking oneself on a date, being out and about on your own is it's really uncomfortable to vlog while people walk by and stare at you. I parked kind of far. Shoot. The good news is I walked in there and they have a bunch of hand soap refill station. I am gonna go back to my car, which is kind of far, <laughs> grab my jars. I can refill my hand soap. This is a pill apparently because I'm starting to feel a little sweaty and out of breath. I also have a jar li library, so if I didn't want to walk back to my car, I can drop some jars off and just bring some back next time. I actually, next time I come, I'm gonna leave some jars for people because I have a ton of jars at home. I'm here at my local Home Depot to pick up some soil and a new pot. My aloe definitely needs a new pot. It's dying because the roots are just crunched. I wanted to try and split one of my plants. So a great way to kind of spruce up your home is plants. A millennial, Silver Lake-ish, I don't know, Visco girl S of me. I don't know, it's pretty affordable. I've managed to keep a few plants alive for many years now. Some die, some survive. <laughs> I'm 
show you guys what I got. This lovely angle. Hand soap. It's kind of dripping. Sage Clary one. This should be a lot of hand soap. That should last us for a while. Also got some Epsom salt. Now the reason they couldn't sell it to me in bulk and I had to buy it in their own jar but they'll give me a discount is because every time you open a bulk bin, humidity gets in and then the Epsom salt goes bad. So I got some shea butter. I got some almond oil. Pink Himalayan sea salt, regular flaky sea salt, and that's it. I didn't spend too much money. This deodorant I'm very excited to try. It's your hands, but I like the zero waste, and it's supposed to last a lot longer. I'm gonna make myself some lunch, and then I'm gonna have to head back out to go to Whole Foods to pick up ingredients for my keto cheesecake, and also I'm gonna get some eucalyptus. Normally I like to go downtown for my eucalyptus because you get way more for the same price, but I figure with traffic, time, cost of time, and gas, it's just going to be cheaper since I'm going to Whole Foods already to pick up erythritol and cream cheese for my cheesecake that I pick it up there. So I just got back from Whole Foods. Oh, are you filming? Saved the twine from my last little eucalyptus bundle. I'm just going to grab, this is like a good bunch. I feel like my aloe needs to be repotted into a larger pot. I have that little pot that I'm gonna try and split this thriving lettuce plant. Yeah. 